Hi, as you probably know, my name is Tim Simon and my company manufactures for the Sharper Image many of the best selling products the Sharper Image has. Today we're going to take a few minutes and go through on today's tape not only the products and what they do, but how's the best way to sell these products. This information on how best to sell the products we've gathered from our travels to literally every Sharper Image store in the world. The information we're going to pass on to you today hopefully will help you learn from other Sharp Image employees and what's made them successful. This tape is broken up into a number of different segments. Each segment is on a specific product. So perhaps today you'll watch a few of the segments and maybe watch the rest of them tomorrow or another day. Also I'd suggest that after you've watched them, a week or so later you watch them again. I think it will be important and it will help you to reinforce the ideas we're giving you today. As you watch this tape, keep in mind, as always, that these products are exclusive to the Sharper Image. No one else has these products. You won't have a customer come back and say, I saw this product for $10 less, or I saw a newer version at another store. These products are yours and yours alone. We hope you can make the best advantage of that. Thanks for watching. Hi, in this segment we're going to discuss the AudioX, which is one of my favorite products. And the reason it is, is I grew up in a hard of hearing family and I know how difficult it can be for people that have hearing problems. This product was designed from that experience I gained. And the purpose of the AudioX is not to replace a hearing aid. We're not going to your customer and saying, you may have bought a hearing aid somewhere else, but use this. What we're saying to them is very simple. If you wear a hearing aid, and you have trouble hearing in specific environments, very specific situations, which you probably will. The AudioX will probably help you. Those specific situations are television, talking on a telephone, talking to other people, and talking in a car. The AudioX is perfect for those situations, and hearing aids aren't, no matter how much they cost. So when you have someone come in the store and you see they're wearing a hearing aid, show them this product. Another person to demonstrate this to is when someone says they're looking for a gift, ask them. Do they, uh, the person looking for a gift for it, does that person need a hearing aid? If they say, well, no, they don't, maybe they're going to plant in their mind the idea that they know someone who does need a hearing aid, and, and what is it you want to talk about? Give them that chance. Show this product to these people. You will find it works, and they will find it works. Now, quickly, I'm going to show you why the AudioX works. First of all, this is the basic product, the AudioX. This is the amplifier. Included with it, is a pair of headphones. Obviously you wear these headphones and that's how you hear the sound. But the most important part of this is the microphone. This is the unique thing about an AudioX. The fact that you can take this microphone and put it at the source of the sound. You can put it at your television or clip it on the person you want to talk to. Or if you're wearing it in a car, you can use it. In a restaurant, you can use it. This allows you to hear because the microphone is at the source of the sound. With your hearing aid, the microphone is in your ear. And if you're 20 feet away from the people you're wanting to listen to or from the television, you've got 20 feet between you and them to pick up all the other sounds in the room. And that's just why hearing aids don't work very well. So think of the AudioX, and when someone asks why does it work, the answer is simple, the remote microphone. We're going to talk about that further in a few minutes. Let me explain the AudioX 1. This is the simpler of the two AudioXs. And it really only consists of three components. There's the heart of it, the AudioX, the amplifier itself the headsets, and the microphone. Now, we also include two microphones, an extension for the microphones, and we also include a second set of headsets. But when it gets down to it, there's really three simple components. The audio X, the headphones, and the microphone. Think of it that way. When you go to use the product, all you have to do is turn the on-off switch on and set the proper volume. Of course, to do that, you've got to be wearing one of the two types of headsets. The first type of headset is what a lot of people call the Walkman type headset. This is a standard headset you see people with every day. The important feature of this is that it's very easy on your ears, it's very soft, doesn't put much pressure on, it's easy to wear. The Bud headsets, well, the advantage to the Buds are that they fit inside your ear. They fit very snugly and therefore they help keep out extraneous sound from around the room and that's an advantage for a lot of people. 
The disadvantage is, is since they fit inside your ear, they're a little bit less comfortable for some people. And most people prefer the Walkman type headset because with a the headband they just fit over your head. The microphone, I said we included two microphones. Well, the reason for that is simple. Usually people watch TV and use their audio X. To do that, you simply mount one of the microphones at your TV. To do that, use the standard little L-shaped bracket that we supply, and that allows you to clip the microphone right next to your TV speaker. Now, to run the wire back to your audio X, you're probably going to need some more wire, so we include a 20-foot remote cord. With this 20-foot remote cord, you can easily reach almost any chair in your room, I'd assume, in most homes. So now you have this ready to go when you're watching television. So you've got a microphone and this remote cord more or less dedicated to your television with the end of the remote code by the side of your uh, chair and you can just pick it up and plug it in the audio X when you're ready to go. When you are using it outside or away from the TV you still have one microphone left and if you ever forget that microphone there's a built-in microphone but when you're using that microphone you're really not picking up the true advantage of the audio X which is to have the microphone at the source of the sound. Now, to keep using that away from the TV, the second microphone can be clipped on the person you want to talk to on their lapel, then plugged into the Audio X. Now you can talk one-to-one -one with these people. Remember, when you're using this Audio X, you're using it to help someone who has a hearing aid in most cases. But in some cases, you'll be working with people who don't already own a hearing aid. Maybe they've just started to notice the hard of hearing, and only in a few instances do they want to use the Audio X. Well, it works great for that but it's particularly useful for those people who already own a hearing aid. So remember, as we said before, if someone comes in your store and they're wearing a hearing aid, show them the Audio X. But more importantly, try it on them. Let them hear it. Let them hear how it works in your store, which in most sharp image stores is very noisy. And that's where the Audio X works best and where hearing aids work their worst. Now let's talk about the Audio X2. This is the big brother to the Audio X1. And I think that this unit does so much, even your customers will be amazed. But you're going to have to be able to show them how to make this unit work, because it comes with a great many of accessories that may or may not be obvious to the customer. Before we get to these accessories, though, let's start with the basic unit. First of all, some of the differences between the Audio X1 and the Audio X2 are that on the Audio X2, on the left-hand side is a slider. What this slider does is controls how much sound goes to the left ear and to the right ear because you might need more amplification on one side of your head than you do on the other. In other words, you may be hard of hearing in the right ear, but not in the left ear. You can control that with the Audio X2. Another thing with the Audio X2 is you have tone controls on the back, a simple bass and treble control. When you get your unit or your customers gets their unit and they start using this, they'll adjust this until they find the best amplification for what they need. In other words, they may, may need more treble. They may be hard of hearing to the higher tones, but not hard of hearing to the lower tones or vice versa. And these two controls allow them to customize this unit for their own hearing problems. Now there's a third control, and this one's probably going to be the hardest one for you to explain to your customer. But it's really not that difficult to understand if you think about it. This is designed when you're using the Audio X in a very noisy environment. What this does is it electronically filters out continuous tones. In other words, the rumbling of an air conditioner or if you're on an airplane and the roar of the engines or in a car or just in your store where there's a continuous amount of noise. When your customer is wearing this product and he adjusts the volume to the proper level, he can then move this slider on the right hand side up and down, up and down until he gets the right spot. And there'll be one spot where many of the noises in the room will just disappear. And this is an electronic control which filters out those noises. It's very unique and it's very helpful for people when they're using the Audio X to hear in a difficult environment. And believe me, your store may be the most difficult environment your customer uses the product in and therefore the best place to demonstrate it. Because when you show him, he can understand and hear clearly when using the Audio X in your store. He'll understand that it's very easy for him to use it at home. Now, to make the Audio X2 a little bit more versatile, we've included a unique accessory with it. That unique accessory is this docking port. And the unit fits into the docking port. When it does, it connects automatically to the number of accessories we make for it. Let me show you how that works. Now that we've installed the Audio X2 in its docking port, let's talk about some of the differences between the Audio X1 and the Audio X2. One of the differences is the headphones. 
The Audio X2 comes with a third set of headphones. In addition to the Bud headset and the Walkman type headset, you get this large studio type headset. The advantage to this studio type headset is that it's very soft on your ears. It's very easy to wear for a long period of time. Say you're watching a TV movie. It may last two, three hours. It's nice to have a very soft, cushiony feeling a headset on your ears when you do that. And some of the other headsets, like the Buds, may be a little bit annoying after such a long period of time. So this is a great quality headset. And because it covers your ears, it helps keep out the noise in the room that may otherwise be disturbing to you. Remember, you won't hear that noise because you put your remote microphone right at the TV but you would hear it through your ears if you didn't have this on. Now, as we've hooked the Audio X2 into its docking port, some other things have happened. One of them is, if you like, you can have the Audio X2 connect directly to your telephone via cable, which is included. By doing this, you now have an enhanced speakerphone for talking. What this means is that with the Audio X2 attached to your telephone, when the phone rings, rather than pick up the telephone to answer, you can simply reach over and press this button on the front of your Audio X. When you do that, it's connected the Audio X2 to your telephone. Now to listen, of course, you have to wear the headphones. You can use any of the sets of headphones, but you have to have them on. To speak, all you do is talk into the front of the docking port, and there's a little microphone in there. Now you have a speakerphone. You have a headset onto here and the speakerphone in the docking port to talk to. If you do a lot of calling and you want to be crystal clear in what you're saying, you can use one of the microphones and clip it on your lapel. The other end of the microphone is plugged into the side of the Audio X2 docking port. And there's a volume control here to control how loud your voice is over the telephone. When you're doing that, you also have a button on the front, as we said, which turns the telephone off and on. If you want to make a phone call, you can't dial from the Audio X, so what you do is you Pick up the telephone, press the button on the front of the Audio X docking port, and dial the number. Once you hear the phone ring, you can hang up the phone because you've connected over here. And of course, now you're listening through your headset and speaking either into the front of the docking port or to the microphone you've plugged in on the side of the Audio X. Now, this really gives you a unique thing. For anyone who's hard of hearing, knows how difficult talking on a telephone is. Actually, how difficult listening on a telephone is. And this solves that problem. Many people will want this, not only for their home, but for their office. You'll also find that many of your customers will have an interest in having more than one Audio X2 at home, one for each telephone. That way, no matter where they are in the house when the phone rings, they can pick it up and they can listen easily. It's a great advantage. And there are many hard of hearing people who just find it impossible to talk on the telephone. Another thing that happens is, when you plug in the docking port, is that remember on the Audio X1 where we hooked up the uh, remote extension cable to the television? and then we unplugged it and plugged it in each time we wanted to use it. Well, you don't have to do that with the Audio X2 because that cable can be permanently left plugged in to the back, the docking port of the Audio X2. By doing that, all you have to do to use it is plug the Audio X2 into its docking port. Now, there's one more cord on the back of the docking port, and that goes to a transformer because now you don't have to worry about changing batteries. You can simply plug this transformer in the wall, and as soon as you plug the Audio X into its docking port, it's hooked up to AC, so it doesn't use batteries anymore. You don't have to have batteries inside it. Now, this is not a recharging stand. There are not rechargeable batteries inside the Audio X. You can use them if you like, but you don't charge them with a docking port. All the docking port does is bring power into the unit. And it's important to use the docking port and have it plugged in in the display in your store. Because even though you might have batteries in the Audio X2, as soon as you plug it into the docking port, the battery system's disconnected. And the only power it can use is from this transformer. This transformer can simply plug it into any AC outlet. Another accessory I want to talk about with the Audio X2 is the carrying cage or carrying pouch. With this case, you can take and open up and put the Audio X2 in one side say the Walkman type headphones, an extra set of batteries on the other side, maybe the airplane adapter. So you can take the Audio X with you as you travel. A lot of people find it very comforting and useful to have in the car, uh, at the office of course, or when they're traveling. And this is an ideal way to get it there. With this carrying case, you can put it in your pocket, in your purse, or with a belt loop, carry it with you on your belt. So you always have it with you whenever you need to. And now, 
One last thing before we close on the Audio X2. As I said at the beginning, the most important thing to do with the Audio X2 and with the One is to show it to people. People have to realize what it is and what it does. The biggest obstacle you're going to have by far is that people who do have a hearing aid, although they understand the problems, they're going to suddenly say, gee, for that price, it can't do much for me because I've spent $500,000, $2,000 on my hearing aids. This is too inexpensive to help me. This will help them. It doesn't matter how good their hearing aid is, but they have to be shown it, they have to be demonstrated. Because this is an exclusive product, your customer has not seen this somewhere before. You have to tell them about it. You're going to only make this sale if you show it to your customer. In this segment, we're going to talk about the Sharper Image Luggage. This is the garment bag. I'm sure this will be very popular. One of the unique features about this is the way the handle is made and mounted to this bag. Most bags tend to sew the handle on, often with cotton thread, which breaks, sometimes with nylon thread, which is very strong. But with our bag, we've bolted the handle to the top of the bag. This handle is not going to come off. No matter how much weight you have in the bag or how hard you pull, the handle's not going to come off. It's bolted on with 12 quarter inch bolts. Now, this bag as you see it is packed right here with enough clothes for probably a week for most people. Inside this bag, I have four suits, three pair of shoes, 10 pair of socks, 10 dress shirts, 10 sets of underwear, all the things you'd need to go out for probably about a week on the road. And as amazing as that is, this bag will hold it. What we're going to show you is why and how. And these are the points we want you to show to your customers. To start with, we want to show the handle, just like I mentioned, and show them how the handle is bolted on with all these bolts, including the carrying strap. The handle is one continuous piece of seatbelt webbing. This is rated at something like 20,000 pounds. This isn't going to come apart. The handle in the center is simply the seat belt webbing folded over and wrapped with a vinyl cloth. The hardware at the end is designed also to hold an enormous amount of weight. And then the seat belt webbing strap carries in across the top. This bag is durable. I think your customers will see it instantly. Now, from a packing standpoint, each one of these two pockets on the front of the bag is designed simply with a zipper and a flap to hold shirts. In each one of these pockets, I have five dress shirts folded. So we have a total of 10 shirts here. That should be enough for most people for a week's trip. Now, on the back, this is where we carry either our dirty clothes, depending on how we want to pack our bag, or any extra clothes that don't fit in the inside. When we look at the end panels of the bag, we fasten this together with a one and a half inch strap. And again, a heavy duty fastener on both sides. Now, unlike the competition and the bags you've carried in the past, with this buckle on the side, not only is it sewn on with nylon thread, it's also riveted with a vinyl patch. So this isn't going to come out either because there's a rivet going all the way through the plastic. This is one of the strong points of the bag. Now, when we go and open up the bag, inside we have another unique feature. These are two large pockets designed to hold shoes. Inside each pocket, you can put, depending on the size, for most normal people, you can probably put a pair easily, perhaps even two pair of shoes in each one of these. And with shoes go socks. So here we've got inside here six pair of socks and, six pa and two pair of shoes. So two pair of shoes in this side, one pair here, and six pair of socks in each side. So you've got three pair of shoes and 12 pair of socks, enough to keep you going for a week. On the top here, and we'll talk about this hook, Normally when you hang your bag up, you need a hook. The hook normally flops in and out of most garment bags. In this bag, you've got a snap, and then you've also got a covered system here which holds it in place. So this hook isn't going to go anywhere. When you go and hang the hook up, it's got this square shape, which is the size and shape of a door. So when you check into the hotel, you can hang this over the closet door or on the rod in the closet. And if for any reason you ever break this hook, although we doubt you're going to break it because it's made out of steel, you have the capability of removing the hook and replacing it. And these replacement hooks are available. All you have to do is ask the distribution center and they'll send you some extra hooks. So if you have a customer that breaks one, it is possible to replace it. I doubt that you're ever going to have anybody break it, though. 
Now, when you go and open up this pocket inside, what we end up with is this is a mesh cover. And in this area, you'd keep your bathing trunks or anything else that may be moist. In this side of the bag, we end up keeping our toiletries. And this is a plastic compartment. So if anything leaks, it won't get on your clothes. Now, the main part of the bag In this part of the bag, right now I have four suits. And these aren't four lightweight summer suits. These are full heavy suits. To keep the suits in place, we have a clip which allows you to use standard hooks, standard hangers for most any source you'd find. These happen to be heavy wooden ones in some cases, and in other cases the heavy plastic ones. But we can use a standard hook. Now I've got one, two, three, four suits. In addition, down at this end of the bag, I've got my ties. And these ties are neatly kept inside this tie compartment. Another purpose for the tie compartment is that if a man has a long coat or a woman has a dress, it lays across here, goes underneath the compartment, and then comes back, stops it from wrinkling. And as you saw before, when the suits are in place, they're strapped in. Well, most straps are a very inexpensive, simple, lightweight nylon. This, again, is a heavy-duty one-inch strap with a heavy-duty buckle, so this won't break either. And the lining, if you may have noticed, is similar to the Sharper Image gift wrap paper, except now it's a charcoal and gray. So it makes it look more subdued, but still gets the name the Sharper Image across. Also, as you've looked through the bags, I hope you've noticed that wherever practical, the zippers are double zippers. So on the same track, you have one zipper going each way. There's some advantages there in case you ever break a zipper, which is possible. You can zipper it around the other half of the bag with the other zipper. This bag is made out of heavy-duty nylon, and it's designed to last. And that's your key selling point, I think, to customers. One is we've shown them how you can take an enormous amount with him in just one bag. And secondly, to show them how strong it is. And there I'd start with a handle, because you know that with this handle, it's not going to come off. It's heavy duty, it feels heavy duty, it looks heavy duty, and I think it sets the mood of the bag. This is the flight bag, which is the second half of our garment bag, flight bag set. This bag is designed to be a simple, easy to use bag that fits under the seat of the airplane. It matches the airline dimensions. What this bag consists of is primarily a large inside pocket, which is accessed by the double zippers. In addition, there's a pair of pockets on the front, an extra pocket between the outside and the inside of the bag, and a second extra pocket on the back, and then on each side, there's a long pocket. You can use these for a variety of different things. Inside, I would normally recommend to your customers, you use it for packing bulky items that may not fit in the garment bag. Or if you're just gonna go away for a single evening, you may wanna just take this bag rather than the garment bag, which can hold so much. We can hold everything you'd want in here, including your gym outfit. So maybe it's a good item when you wanna go down to the gym and exercise. One feature about this that's important that you realize is that like the garment bag, this is uniquely made. What I mean by that is when most manufacturers make luggage, they tend first of all to use cotton thread, which doesn't hold up as long. We use nylon thread. It's a little bit harder to handle and it costs a little bit more, but it's much stronger. In addition, most manufacturers tend to make the bag out of taking two pieces of cloth and laying them across each other and then sewing it, again with cotton thread. Well, what we do is, first of all, as I said, we don't use cotton thread. And secondly, we don't sew fabric like this. Because when you do, it tends to want to unravel and pull apart. And that's why bags separate. What we do is we take each piece of cloth, fold it under, lay them on top of each other then, and run nylon thread down the center. That way, the harder you pull, the harder it holds the bag together. And that's dependent on the thread, of course. And we use the best nylon thread you could get. In addition with this, this bag also has the sharper image lining. This is an ideal companion for the garment bag. I hope you show it to your customers with that in mind. Now we're going to talk about the Sharper Image Key Organizer, or the keychain as many of you call it. 
This is a product they're all very proud of. It's been one of the top sellers and top profit makers for the Sharper Image this year. And like anyone else, though, we'd all like to do a little bit better. So to help you, we brought out several new models. And we think this will be a big help. First of all, we brought out the blank keychain. And the purpose of this is to allow you to sell to a customer a keychain, which doesn't have anything written on the front, so it doesn't feel like he's buying an advertisement, as some of your customers has commented on. On the back, in very small letters, it still says the sharper image, but primarily it's a blank face keychain. In addition, for your customers that want to be a little bit more creative or perhaps sentimental, we give them the ability to buy a keychain where they can take and write anything they want on the front of it. This is the engraved keychain, which, as you know, you order and fax the order to us, and we mail the keychain directly to your customer. Well, this is an ideal Christmas gift, an ideal Valentine's gift, Father's Day. Whenever you want to commemorate or make a statement about something, it's an ideal gift. Remember, it's only $29 plus the engraving and the postage, so it's a good gift for anyone. One of the things that we'd like to be sure we do is in the future to be sure we do a better job inside the store of remembering to demonstrate the keychain to everyone when they come to the cashier's counter. Now, I've traveled to many stores and seen people doing some fantastic jobs. In one of the stores, a salesman sold 16 keychains in one day. Unbelievable. If everyone did that, we'd all be very, very happy. For those stores that haven't been quite that successful, I'd just like to remember, remind them that when someone comes to the cashier's counter, be sure to have the cashier demonstrate that. So often I've been in stores and seen someone come to the counter, tell the uh, cashier that Mr. Jones wants to buy a sound soother, a slide view, or whatever, and while Mr. Jones is waiting to have a sale rung up, he's looking at the keychain display, playing with it, and the cashier never says, can I show you this, or would you like to see one of these? This is the biggest single way I think we can remember to improve the sales of the keychain. I think it would help us all. For those people that aren't familiar with the keychain, it's really a simple product. All you do is you take on the back, there's a slider, you move it down, and you can pull off your key. So you can give them to a valet, or if you want to take off a set of keys from your keychain, or add a set. Maybe you don't want to carry your uh, keys to your boat around with you all winter long. In the summer when you want them, you put them back on the keychain. So it's this ability to take the keys off and put them back on the keychain, which is the real selling point, along with its durability. Remember, it's solid aluminum. It's very sturdy. It's not going to wear out. If we can remember to sell more of these keychains, we're out there selling advertisements that all your customers are going to be carrying in their pocket. Because whether it says the sharp image on it or not, they'll remember where they got it. And every time they go to get in the car and think where they're going to go shopping, they'll have this keychain in front of them. So please, remember to demonstrate this keychain. Remember to tell people about it. Now we're going to talk about the Sound Soother. I'm sure most of you are quite familiar with it. It's been one of the best selling products at the Sharper Image this year. Every week it's consistently in the top 10 profit products. and That's wonderful. We're all very happy with that. I'd like to suggest though some ways maybe that could help you sell even more of these. One of the ways that you could do is think of this as a different product. Think of it as a product for parents with small children. We've gotten a lot of letters saying how wonderful this is that parents have bought it and taken it home and put it in the nursery. Using the sound soother to help keep their children asleep during the day or let them sleep later in the morning by masking out the sounds of the day that would normally awaken them. And this is a wonderful idea and it gives you an opportunity to suggest something when someone comes in your store. Another point I'd like to be sure you mention is the fact that it's an excellent AM FM clock radio. I'm sure everyone realizes what a sound soother is, but not everyone needs a sound soother. Not everyone wants one. And some people may say, gee, I'm not really interested in a sound soother, but maybe they need a great clock radio. And this really is one. What I'd like you to be able to do is show them not only what it sounds like, but how the alarm works. Because this is a very unique feature. The fact that this alarm comes on slowly over a period of one minute. So I think it's important that you understand how to set the alarm and how to set the time and how to set it up so you could do a demonstration. Because one thing to tell somebody that the alarm slowly comes on over approximately a minute, it's another thing to let them hear it. It's a very pleasant way to wake up in the morning. Another thing with the sound soother is remember that when you're demonstrating this product to people, that in the store, it's a very loud environment. They may not be able to truly understand the quality of the sound of this. It's important when you demonstrate to people that you have it in a quiet part of the store if possible. And that always helps, makes your demonstration a little bit easier. If not, and maybe you can't have it in a quiet part of the store, remember you can always plug in headphones and let them listen to it. You have plenty of headphones, certainly you have them from the AudioX display. So take those headphones over and plug them into the sound soother and let people listen. 
As you know, in the summer we introduced a white version, and this version is now accounting for approximately 40% of the sales. So we know that's helping by selling extra radios, and that's a great feature. We'll keep trying to listen to what you say and do more of what you need to help you sell more of these great products. And good luck this year with the Sound Soother. In this segment, we'll talk about the classic radio. This is an ideal gift item. So when customers come in saying, gee, I don't know what to get for somebody, think of the classic radio and suggest it to them. Remember, not only is it a good looking item, it's also a very great sounding radio. And in addition, it picks up so many different bands of radio that it's an ideal gift for someone when they want to do something different rather than just watch TV, particularly for kids. It's much nicer to have the kids sitting around at night listening to the radio, trying to pick up Russia or South America, learn foreign languages, playing with the short wave on this radio. Keeps anyone interested for a long time, and it's a lot of fun. And remember that if someone gives this, they're giving something they can't get anywhere else, and that's something I think we always have to remember when we're talking about our products at the Sharper Image. They are unique. This is certainly a very unique item. And when you have the product on display, it's good if people can actually turn it on and hear it because it sounds so fantastic. Not in every store we'd be able to pick up the short wave, but in most stores you'd be able to pick up the AM, FM, and that's an important feature. Also, I'd like to remind those stores, when you leave the radio on display for a long period of time and everyone plays with it day in and day out, the paint may start to wear on the knobs. If that happens, just give us a call or send us a note. We're happy to send you as many replacement knobs as you want, just so the radio always looks its best. Remember, this is an ideal gift item, and remember to show it to your customers. I'm sure they'll appreciate the idea that you gave them the opportunity to think of something new for a gift this year. This product, the Sharper Image Slide Viewer, has been in the Sharper Image for almost 10 years. It started originally back in 1980 and has been in almost every catalog since then. And the product is always in the top 50 of the most profitable products. I think, though, because it's been in the catalog for such a long time and in the stores, that some of us take the product for granted. And that's something we really shouldn't do because it's really a great selling item. Particularly remember this for gift giving season. It's ideal for anyone who's a camera bug. And the reason people want this is that when they shoot slides, they don't have to turn off the lights, pull down the curtain, set up the screen, get out the projector. It's just set it up on the table and start looking at it, even in daylight. That's a fantastic feature for it. Another strong point for selling this product to people is that unlike a projector where you often have to put your slides into reels or trays, you don't have to do that with your slides in this product. You just drop them in the back and you can run them through. A good point to keep in mind, though, that a lot of people ask, well, People don't shoot as many slides as they used to. The fact is, there's more slides shot today than any other year before. It's true that as new people come into photography, often they start off shooting prints, but usually they end up shooting slides because slides are cheaper and they give much better color quality. Slides are still a big seller, and it's important that we take advantage of that market. Remember, if someone's interested in photography, suggest this slide viewer. At the same time, be prepared to explain all the different things it'll do. Remember, not only can you see the slide on the screen, and you can show it at different magnifications, you can run through a whole stack of slides. You don't have to load any reels or trays. And you can also do this and take the sharper image slide editor and put it on the front. Now you can use it to sort your slides. And when you do that, you just press down the bottom of the slide, and out it comes. And now you can move it around. So you could take a slide out, move it over, put another slide in, maybe you put it upside down or backwards. This is how you get your slides ready often before you put them in your slide projector. This is a big feature for people who do shoot a lot of slides. The most important thing though, again, is to remember to show this product. Just because we've had it for 10 years and we've sold it for 10 years and you're familiar with it doesn't mean that your customers are. Quite often people come in your store that have never seen it before. They're new to the sharper image and it's important that they know all the different things this product will do. And I'm sure this product will continue to be a best selling item for the next 10 years.
In this segment, we're going to discuss a new product. This is the Sharper Image cassette radio called the Tune Master. I think you'll be very happy with this product. First of all, it comes in two colors. It comes in white and it comes in black. And from the past segments when we've talked about the Sound Soother, you know that white's been a very big seller for us this year. We expect the same will be true with this product. I'm sure your customers will like the sound from this. It's fantastic. We went through great effort to get good sound. We went to Korea and had a special speaker designed and manufactured just to give us great sound in a very small radio. This is something most radio manufacturers just don't worry about. If it's a small radio, it normally has small sound. This is a small radio with big sound. In addition to being an AM FM clock radio, this radio also has a cassette built in so you can play your favorite cassettes. Not only can you play them, but you can wake up to them too. For when you set the alarm for the morning, you can set it to wake you up to a buzzer, to the radio, or to the cassette player. So you can go to sleep and hear your favorite music when you wake up in the morning. Or you can even make a recording of things you're supposed to do when you get up and play that. So when you wake up in the morning, you can tell yourself what you wanted to do that day. Whatever you want to put on tape, this will wake you up to. Another feature about this radio that's important is the fact that it works off a simple transformer. And in the international section of this tape, we'll talk about that in more detail. But this is a product that can be used anywhere in the world. Another product, another feature to this product is the fact that the packaging is all made from recycled paper. And that this product is environmentally sound. And we've gone to great efforts to take care of that. I think you'll see more of that coming from the Sharper Image in the next few months. Another point before we close on this product is to remember again that it's exclusive to the Sharper Image. When you show someone this product, they won't have seen it anywhere else, and especially a new product like this, they won't even have seen it at the Sharper Image. So when you have customers come in the store, be sure to show them this product. It's something I think they'll enjoy. In this segment, we're going to talk about this new ultrasonic pest device that we've made. It's a new item for the Sharper Image. You may not even have seen it in your stores yet by the time you get this videotape, so watch closely. This product has a couple unique features to it. You've all been very successful in the past with these ultrasonic pest devices, and I think you'll find this one's even better. First of all, this has two speakers, one on each side, to cover a broader range. Secondly, it's much more powerful. It's approximately 10 times more powerful than the model you've currently been selling. And thirdly, it does some very unique things to disturb pests. First of all, let's define pest. Some people think of pest as being things like spiders and rodents and so forth, and that's true. Other people think of crickets and insects, and that's also true. This does a full range of, of animals. It also does other things. It'll work with large animals like dogs and deer and so forth. Now, you don't want to disturb all the animals all the time. So on the back of the product, we have some different switches. And if you have household pets like dogs or cats, you leave the switch in the upward position and it won't disturb those animals. It'll only disturb animals that can hear higher than that frequency, which is the kind of pest you normally think of. If you don't have any pets in your house, then you can pull the switch down. And now what it will do is this will be annoying to all different types of animals. And if you do want to have a house and you don't want to have dogs and cats or other animals inside, pull this down and it will discourage them from coming in the house. We have two other switches which are designed to give this even more range. In one position, this now gives you a variable tone. That means that the ultrasonic frequency sweeps up and down. And what that does is make it disturbing to more and more different types of animals. If you pull it in this down position, it's not as disturbing to animals, but also it's entirely quiet so you won't hear a thing. Where in the upward position, you may hear a slight hum from it. Also, this is designed to be intermittent. That means it comes on and goes off it random intervals. That's also quite annoying to pest. Imagine this, driving into the setting sun some night and looking at the sun. After a while, you get kind of used to it, and it may be annoying, but it's not terrible. If that sunlight was blinking off and on, off and on, it would drive you crazy. You wouldn't be able to look at it anymore. And that's what this does. In the upward position, it's intermittent. And the animal hears this sound, and then it doesn't hear it. And then it does, and then it doesn't. Where in the lower position, this is just on continually. The advantage and the reason we put that switch on is in the upper position, you may hear a slight click, 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 as it changes from one frequency to the other. 
that won't be annoying in most rooms, but in a bedroom you might actually hear it when it's terribly quiet at night. So if you're going to use it in your bedroom, put it in the continuous position. If you're going to use it in your basement or your living room or any room where there's activity, then put it in the upper position, which is the intermittent one where it goes off and on. And there might be a very slight click, but I doubt that you'll notice it. You can try this in the store, and it's a good demonstration point. Another thing to demonstrate is that with this product, there's a test button on the top. And when you press that button, you'll hear just how annoying this sound is. But it'll be annoying to you. When you let go of the test button, it jumps back up to the ultra high frequencies that you can't hear anymore. So don't worry, it won't bother you. So you can use this product. We have rubber feet, so you can set it down on the floor or on the shelf. And there's a hook in the back, so you can put a screw in the wall and hang it on the wall. This allows you to put it almost anywhere you want. We've tried to make it fairly attract attractively styled, too, so it won't be annoying to have in your home. This is the kind of product that people buy more than one of also. You can put these throughout your house and put them outdoors also. Put it in your garage to keep away animals from coming into the garage, raccoons and so forth, spiders. We've had so many responses from people who say this is great against keeping spiders from coming out in your house. In many parts of the country, it's a big annoyance where you have spider webs all over the outside of your house. So look for this product. It's an international product. It works on a transformer, and you can sell it to people from overseas, and they can easily take it home and use it. I think you'll find this will be a good seller, and we look forward to getting your comments on it. Hi, on this segment of the tape, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about international products. What this means to you is that over the last two years, we've slowly made a transition in the way we manufacture our products so they can literally be used anywhere in the world. This capability allows you some potential extra sales. If you have customers come into your store from overseas, they can buy a product from you, the international products we make, and take them home with them and they'll work when they get there. Obviously, products like the keychain and the luggage are international products to begin with. It just doesn't make any difference. Products like the Audio X, which run on batteries, are international products. Batteries are the same everywhere. But when it comes to plugging something in the wall, things change. Some countries use 110 volts like the United States does. Some countries use 220 volts. Some countries are on 50 cycles. Some are on 60 cycles. In many products, this makes a big difference. What we've done is slowly transition our products to make them international. The way we've done that is in two different ways. On a product like the Sound Soother, we make a different version called the SM243. And while this product looks the same, it's slightly different. On the back of the product, instead of having a conventional AC cord, we have a cord which plugs in to the back of the radio. This is a standard international connection. But on the SM243, the cord is different on the other end. It has round pins. When you use this cord overseas, it's designed for 240 volts. If you want to take and use it in the United States, you have a simple switch that you throw here. And by throwing this switch, it goes to 110 volts. Then you use a different cord, which is 110 volt, an American cord. This cord does not come with the SM243. The SM243 comes only with the European cord, but the American cord is available. Obviously, if your customer wants to use the product in the United States, he should just buy the SM240 or SM241 in the white version. But if he wants to take it overseas, he can take this SM243 with him. The instruction book on this product also comes in five languages, English, French, Spanish, Japanese, and German. On a product like the uh, classic radio, we're doing exactly the same thing. This product will be available though only in one model, the SM950. And this model in your stores will have the American cord. If the customer wants to take it overseas, you'll simply sell him a second cord, which is the European cord, and again he throws the switch in the back. Starting in mid-1991, the slide viewer will have the same feature. The rest of the products are even easier. With products like the cassette radio, all you do is on the back, there's a receptacle for a 12-volt transformer. Now this transformer comes with it and simply plugs in to the back of the radio. When you plug it in, you now have the transformer supplying power to the radio. Since the transformer is supplying power, where it works depends on the type of transformer that's with it. This is an American or 110 volt transformer. Also available is a European transformer. 
This transformer is designed for 220 volt. In addition, we have transformers for Japan, for Australia, for most of the countries in the world. So you'll be able to sell this product to any customer going almost anywhere and it will work perfectly. This transformer system works not only with the cassette radio, it also works with the Audio X2, it also works with the ultrasonic pest eliminator, it works with many of our products. So if you have any questions on these overseas sales, please check with your manager or give our office a call. But be assured that these are products you can sell and they'll work anywhere in the world. I'd really like to thank you for taking the time to sit through this tape today. I know sitting and watching a video monitor of someone speaking about products isn't the most exciting way to spend a morning. I hope though that you've learned something about our products and the reason we asked you to do this was I'd like to come and explain these products and answer questions for each and every one of you but unfortunately I can't get to every sharper image store in the world anymore as quickly as I used to be able to. Now there's just so many of them. Again, I'd like to say that the Sharp Rubbage is a very big part of our life, and we hope that we're a big part of your life, and particularly of your commission checks. And that's why we go to the effort to make these products, and we hope that we make them so they're very easy for you to sell. The one thing that always concerns me is that these products are unique, and if you don't demonstrate them to the customer, if you don't tell them about the customer, they'll never know about them. These products really depend at the end on the success of you, the salesman, to make these products sell, and I really appreciate your efforts.